Over the last four weeks or so, I've had several people ask me how my garden was growing because I hadn't placed any videos up on YouTube. Well, the reason for that is because I'm growing a lot of my uh, veggies in my two greenhouses this year. And with uh, my daughter's graduation, uh, I have a late start on what I have planted out in the field. But uh, I think it's been... Uh, six, maybe seven weeks now, maybe seven weeks, that I planted the first row of tomatoes off to the left. And then I planted six zucchini plants at the end of these first two rows. In the second row, I planted more tomatoes a week after I planted the tomatoes on the left side. And then the following week, I planted this third row. And then, uh, I guess it's been two weeks now, I planted the fourth row. This house uh, needed the poly replaced on it. It should have been replaced last fall, but that didn't happen. We were working on the, the large greenhouse instead. Uh, this is a 48-foot house, uh, 20 foot uh, wide and 48 feet long. And the first eight feet of the house, I have um, benches set up so that I can actually grow my plants out on. Uh, I also have uh, an area in my large greenhouse that has cooler temperatures to grow other plants on. Uh, so then I get a wide variety of um, plants to grow in those two areas because there are different uh, temperatures. All right, on the very right side of this 48-foot um, house, uh, next to the last row, I've planted different types of tomatoes. And those need to get trellised here pretty quick. And then the very last row, there are tomatillos. And then I'm planting some peppers there at the end. Okay, here in the beginning, this was about three weeks into planting. You can see what the plants look like. They're basically uh, rooting out, and then they'll start to put on massive top growth. Here's what the zucchini look like in the beginning. On the left, they were planted a week earlier than those on the right. And then here's the eggplant. And then this is uh, one of the benches where I grow my plants out. I use these water barrels to retain heat. And then this other bench is a heated bench. Everything starts out on that bench and then I can move it on to uh, an unheated bench later on. Okay now, over the last week or so, when I'm, we come in here to water, we tend to walk by those grape tomatoes and eat those as soon as they get ripe. That's a nice little tomato. I like those a lot. Um, my very first San Marzano in here, and of course the critters have been in it. That's just, I, I, we have just about every creature imaginable. Um, so it's really tough to stay ahead of all the varmints. Um, I've got birds that fly in and out of here all the time, and possum, and coons, and um, you name it, and we've got them. So, I want to show you this other tomato. Uh, this one's called uh, Specialty Martin, I think it was. It's a, I think it's supposed to be about a four ounce tomato. And what I'm noticing on these plants, I have several of them in here, um, while we were busy doing graduation and getting ready for parties and that kind of thing, um, there's a two-week period where things got um, fairly dry in here and didn't get uh, as much attention as things needed. That's when the caterpillars decided they were going to take over. But I've noticed this tomato splits. Um, this is, happens because the, the plant, uh, you know, the soil dried out and then, uh, a, then it got a good drink of water and that caused that skin to split. Uh, so I, I'm, you know, probably won't be growing that. This is the first time I'd ever had that. It may have even been a freebie from one of the seed houses. I 
I can't remember. Um, but then let me show you uh, some of the other plants that are in here that I think I'm going to be real happy with. Okay, here's the striped German, and uh, they're looking pretty good. Got one down there that's starting to turn pink on the very bottom. But there's probably um, five pounds of tomatoes on this plant right now, even though they're. Um, had to struggle with that nitrogen deficiency. So, overall I think I'll be pretty happy with those. Here's another plant. It's just loaded with tomatoes. Okay, here's a San Marzano, one of the first ones I planted. Um, it definitely needs some pruning, but I have fruit that's actually turning on those. And it's hard to see for all the foliage, but there's um, pr good heavy set on this plant. And the tomatoes, you know, they do need wind for pollination. So when I'm in here and I'm working on um, twining and, and, and trellising, that uh, gives them enough movement that they can pollinate and then the, uh, I do get good airflow with the fan. The squash plants are fairly healthy right now. I've had um, seen several squash bug in here um, and I've had some caterpillar damage also. So I've dusted a little BT and uh, I've sprayed uh, once for the squash bug and I need to do it here again soon in the next couple days. I'm going to try and use some uh, surround and see how well that works. It's a good organic approach if it works well. This is just a little view from the other end. Uh, the squash I've been harvesting off of for um, about two weeks now. So far I'm pretty pleased with everything considering uh, I'm a perennial grower and I've always grown uh, about a thousand perennials in this house. I have planted two different types of eggplant. Uh, this one is a green Japanese eggplant. And then I also have some of the, uh, the old-fashioned Italian purples. Okay, this is one of the purple eggplants, the uh, uh, Black Beauty is the name of it and the fruit's beginning to form but nothing you can really tell nothing that would show up well on uh, on the camera but um, I've had some caterpillar damage, I've had some flea, flea beetle damage which is typical for this particular crop uh, all in all it looks um, halfway decent and I think I'll get a fair number of fruit okay at the very end of this wide row I have these peppers uh, they're starting to set fruit there's some, uh, this is a pimento cubanel, uh, there's an ancho uh, poblano, uh, I think there's one other type planted in here, I can't remember. I think it might be another pimento type pepper. But everything's beginning to set fruit. And this plant isn't very large at all and uh, there's easily uh, see three peppers on there already